sons of us who were back again. We're back again. England won. Iceland two. Now, before we actually start talking about this shit match and the embarrassing performances, number one, Hodgson, you're a pussy. You're just a pussy, yo. Why are you saying shit like, uh, I was where I'd already written my resignation letter? Shut up. You're a useless coach. You picked the wrong players. You're always, you always have your favourites and see what your favourites have done. Dog shit. Just put, you put Rooney in the midfield. Everyone knows he's not a midfielder. Everyone knows. Bare people are like, yeah, he can play midfield. He's not a midfielder. Is not a midfielder. You brought him and you put him in midfield. He did dog shit for us yesterday. Absolutely dog shit. Kane, why are you on set pieces? You are useless and rubbish. You can't take free kicks. You can't take corners. You can't take penalties. What are you good at? You're nonsense. Why are you even in the team? You're not meant to be starting, fam. You're not meant to be starting. After what you played against... Russia and Wales, you shouldn't even be starting. Sterling, oh my god, Sterling, 49 million, what a joke. Your Jamaica, or you just stick to smoking weed and spliffs, man. Just keep, just stick to that, fam. You can't do anything else than that. Waste of time and space. See, yeah, you may say I'm being biased, but one of the reasons why we lost this match and we got eliminated from the tournament because there are too many Tottenham players in our squad. The concentration is high. How can you have five Tottenham players starting and you're acting like they won the league? They fucked up. They messed up. They messed up in the league. They bottled it. You may call Arsenal bottlers as well. Okay then. But how many players did we have in this squad? One. Wilshere. And to be honest, he played well yesterday. He had some good balls. But still, he wasn't good enough. I just don't understand. Iceland of all teams. When the fixture thing came out, whatever you call it, Everyone's like, oh, Iceland, we should be able to beat them. We should be able to get... We're looking forward to France. But no, we messed up. We bought Joe Hart. What is your problem? All you know how to hold is shampoo now. You can't save anymore. You can't save and I don't want any more apologies from you. For Wales, against Wales, we're like, all right, one off. Now again, come on, mate. The defence was shocking. They weren't tight on their players. Cahill and Smalling. What's your problem? That's the thing. Most of you lot are playing in the Prem. You never go out to gain valuable experience abroad. But that's not your. That's not to blame. Because they're putting so much money in the Prem. Everyone wants to play in the Prem and make money. No one wants to go out and be experienced anymore. Rubbish. Absolutely shit. Yesterday was absolutely shit. Hodgson knew what he needed to do, but he failed to do it. Everybody was calling. But why wasn't Rashford put in early? Just tell me, what's the point of putting Rashford five minutes into it? What's your problem? Everyone could see it. Everybody could see that we needed injection of pace or something, something different. But man was still doing like this. We're still looking. After how many after how many minutes have gone? Didn't you put in Rashford then? What else could he do? Man, this is a joke. Every single tournament, this always happens to England. Every single tournament. We get our hopes high. Oh yeah, we beat Germany 3-2. Yeah, we're back in it. Vardy, Vardy having a party. There was no party yesterday. There was no party yesterday. Vardy did not have a party yesterday. Even though he came on, he tried to do some things, but it's not easy. It's not easy. He didn't have a party yesterday. Daniel Sturridge, you were playing out of the wing. I don't blame you. That's not your position. But still, but still, but still, the performance was rubbish. We need to improve. Hodgson, just get out. I don't even know who can replace him because it seems like there's not, there, there aren't any qualified coaches out there yet some people may say red now but he's past his sell by day he's old he may not have any new what do you call it he may not have any new ideas for the team he may not have any new ideas for the team to be honest i'm pissed off because yes they think we're going to go into court finals and if we had lost against france that would be better than losing against Ireland. iceland 100 percent if we had lost against france now was the only how do they put it home nation in the in the Euros, they're the only home nation now. When this Euro started, everyone was like, we're gonna finish top of the table. We didn't. When we beat Wales, everyone was like, oh, we've hit our momentum. We didn't. 
when we got Iceland, and we got Iceland, everyone was like, oh, we're going to get into the semi finals. We're going to get into the semi finals. We didn't. It's not a funny matter. Things like this happen year in, year out. We always hope for the best and we come back with nothing. Absolutely nothing. Sorry to say, but I think England's mentality is absolute zero. Before the match, when we're singing the national anthem, Hart was singing it like mad. He's always getting pumped up. And when he's pumped up like this, he concedes silly goals. Just against um, Italy four years ago. He was pumped up, Perno chipped him. This one, he was singing the anthem like, yeah, yeah, God save the queen, God save rubbish. A shot came in, he couldn't take it. Now he's up, I've said it before, but now he's apologizing again. I don't want your apology. I just don't want it. I'm sick and tired of this. I'm sick and tired of this. Number one, supporting Arsenal ain't easy because we flop most of the time. That's not easy. Now England again. Now England again. What else do what else does England need? They'll say we need to inject youth, youth. We injected the youth now. What did they do? Nothing. They came back with nothing. They said, oh, we need to put they're getting ready for Qatar 20. Um, I mean they're getting ready for Russia 2018. Nonsense. Which Russia 2018? You're not gonna win that. You're gonna say, oh, we're getting ready for the next year. Yeah, I mean, yeah, right. The same thing all over again. It's taking the piss and I'm annoyed. It's absolutely rubbish. The FA needs to sort everything out from top to bottom. They need to sort everything out. Do a whole clear out and bring people in. Lastly, Gary Neville, you're resigning as well. Why? What? What did you do? What input? You're a defender. That defense didn't look like they were solid. What back in your day, you were solid. You were a good defender, but that defense you didn't work on shit. You first went to Valencia, you got a whooping by Barcelona, then you came back, then you got into the, you came back to the FA. Thinking that, okay, let me sort out this defense, then make it strong. We're going to the Euro. Nothing. Shit. Shit. Just absolute shit. We need to improve. There were instances of the game where nobody was moving forward. There was no fluidity at all. There was nobody moving in front of the people with the ball. Everything was just stagnant. That is not good. Everything was stagnant. I don't think I can even draw any positive from that game because it's an embarrassing defeat. We're meant to be winning matches like that. Everyone knows we're meant to be winning matches like that. I don't even care. Rubbish. Shit. On a lighter note, shout out to my Albanian boys. Even though they got knocked out of the competition, they finished with they were all right. They finished with three points. All right, shout out to Aaron. You know, man, like shout out to Aaron and all the economics class. You know, we we're done now. Can't shout. Yes, care. No darling, why so serious? Yeah. So um, we're out of the Euros. We're out of the EU. Very soon, we're just going to be out of ideas. That's just it. That's just it. Nonsense. I can't shout. Why so serious? Also, shout out to my turkey boy. Osman, you know how we do it. Yes, care. Why so serious? Don't know. Shout out to James. You know, everyone knows James. The guy that said he should have been sat when the team came out. Shout out to James Ginger Machine. Shout out to a man like Jeff. Shout out to everybody in that group chat. You know who you are. Goals, you know who you are. Can't shout. Why so serious? Shout out to all my boys in Niger. Yes, care. Coming soon. Shout out to all my boys in Niger. Shout out to my boys in Germany. Shout out to my boys in America. Shout out to everyone that's been supporting this channel. Even though we're still growing, but shout out to you. Thanks for the likes. Thanks for the shares. Thanks for the subscriptions. You know who you are. My brother, Itzi Baba. No darling. One day we're coming to meet you soon. Yes, care. I can't shout. Why so serious? Don't know. Yes, care.